Welcome, G3 investors. We're going to take a look at an interesting trade that happened yesterday. First, let's look at how our model did. We made 4,500 on 16 completed trades yesterday. We were stopped out of 12 long positions for a gain of 2,500 approximately, and we made 2,000 on four short trades. And so we ended up at the day with 189. 108900 in cash to trade based on our $100,000 portfolio. So we're up 8.9% in a little over a week or about five days. Not too bad. So let's take a look at one of the short trades go over how we short. This is the chart of the SQQ that we, we, we this is what we saw yesterday as it progressed and we started out here. And so I've kind of identified we use the MACD uh, five minute chart. Uh, the fast period, which is the blue lo dotted line here, is the six period average. And, and the red solid line is the 20 period uh, moving average. And you can see it started out up here. When you look at the chart itself, you can see that the blue dotted line was beneath the red dotted line. So in a, in a pre market, it crossed over and down. So that indicated to me that the market wanted to go lower, okay, because the Q is the one-time inverse of the, of the or the SQQ is the one-time inverse of the Qs, the QQ. QQQ. QQQ. Anyway, so you can see here we're below. Now, what happens is, is this MACD down here, it, it is trying to predict the future. OK, or that's what it supposedly does. But you still got to look at the chart. So when it crossed over here, I did not take a position because when you look at the chart, it was still going down or it was going sideways and it's basically going nowhere. And back here at around 4940 was the last time it tried to, to move up, you know, one, two, three. It couldn't get above those three down periods right there. So. I set my line and said, hey, you know, about between 49.40 and 49.50, I would probably re-enter this thing. Or I would probably enter it for the first time, sorry. So that did not happen until this bar right here. And so we bought at 49.40. And then, again, this went down below, okay? And, and usually that's a signal, but you got to look at the chart. So it just went slightly below its five or its six period average here, and then it never touched the 20 period. So that indicates to me that we might as well hold this till the end of the day to see what kind of gain the market's going to give us. And so we did that. And so at the end of the day, we sold at 51.28 for a gain of 3.8% on that on that one trade. So that's how we do it at G3 Investors. Uh, this is Greg Gallagher. It's just a brief review of the SQQ Q trade on uh, January 9th, 2013. Good luck and good trading.